Before we get started in the painting, what I'd like to do is just show you a few things in the menu items. Up here in the upper left, you'll see the brush tool there. When I click on the icon, you'll see all the different media that I can choose. So I could choose an oil brush here, and then this is the individual brush attributes that are absolutely fantastic. Corel Painter does a really good job in mimicking natural media. And so you'll see your toolbox here if you go all the way over here to menu you could go to layout and this is something that I would consider looking at is the different types of work that you do they have different layout workspaces for you to consider I've created my own kind of custom workspace where I like things I'm right-handed so I have my custom toolbox down here that I use a lot with some of my also buttons for saving and drying my digital water so I don't have to go to the menu items. This is brilliant. The color wheel, your hue is here and then you have your saturation and then you have your tint and then your shade and then this is where it's as if you're adding the complement and you're neutralizing the color so it's desaturating it quite a bit. I love this because I can see it all at once and and get going. Uh, I don't use a lot of layers but I do use layers for effects when I go to texture and things like that but the layer uh, I have the layers exposed here so I could see them and then I flatten them quite a bit as I'm working. Uh, also you could choose different papers um, but that's getting a little bit more advanced and why don't we go ahead and get into the painting now. So the first thing I do is I cover the entire canvas with uh, digital water, new simple water, and I'm just blocking in. So I'm just looking at values just like I would in traditional media. I'm just going shape, uh, then I'll move to form, then I'll move to color and detail. I've sped up the video a little bit because this stage is, is kind of basic. So I'm just getting my composition set and just going with shapes. Now dried the digital water and what I'm going to do is start laying in some form. There I just increased my values a little bit by copying what I had done, put it on another layer and then hit it with a multiply layer function. But as you can see I'm just going shape, form, color, detail. I'm using my constructing glazing brush right now in order to get some form so I'm considering my light side and now I'm gone back to digital water and glazing in um, some basic color so really at this first stage it's it's rapidly paced I'm considering shape form color detail or actually not detail yet uh, that comes in the latter stages I'm just trying to set up the composition color in the mood and I'm bouncing primarily back and forth from digital water then drying it then going to my glazing brushes both my stencil pencil brush and my constructing brush and then as you see I'm starting to develop a little bit more of the temperature and I'm going to continue this process now with with opaque media and again it's it's very intuitive this is exactly how I paint in the landscape when I'm painting at the beach with my oils trying to create a lot of movement in the water and again this is still the preliminary stage I don't really feel like I've gotten into detail yet but I like where the paintings going I like the temperature and that's again the beauty of the digital media is you could set your your temperature and uh, of both your light and your shadow. So now I'm going into brushes. I'm using some oil brushes to create a little bit more texture. And so this is the stage where I like where it's going. I'm satisfied with what I've what I've done in the preliminary stage, uh, and I consider it worth taking to finish. Again, just like traditional media, you know, if I'm not happy with a painting in about 30 to 40 minutes you wipe it down and you and you start over and I'll uh, I'll play with some oil brushes uh, at this point some of my favorites are the real flat opaque I like that brush a lot I'll also come in and start to use some of the blenders uh, here in just a minute softening edges hardening edges so at this point again just like traditional media I'm I'm playing with 
light side, dark side, warm side, cool side, hard edge, soft edge, detail suggestion. And in this one, not really a lot of, uh, in my illustrative work, um, I'm also considering considering busy rest. So there I, uh, I just pulled in a uh, brush and this is where I really start to go into detail. I've, I'm going to the texture brush and I'm, I'm choosing a texture that I can actually paint with. And so this is a really kind of a fun part of Corel Painter's new functions over the last two versions is the, the texture painting application. So I can import um, textures and I've slowed it down a little bit. You can see I'm choosing a texture. I can scale the texture size where I want it to be. And I could even change the color if I'd like. I'm not going to. So you can see in the menu item there that the they have a variety of default textures and I like to import some of my own. This is a really good default texture because I can move it around find out where I, I want that texture to be and then I can drop the opacity down of that texture and then uh, pick my texture painting brush and then move into painting the texture over the surface. Now I'll do that usually on a separate layer. I'm not doing that now but oftentimes I'll do that on a separate layer and then I'll play with the opacities just a little bit to uh, to get the desired effect that I want. And so it's a great function. Um, when I painted backgrounds in animation, there was all sorts of ways that we would uh, apply texture. We would use Duraline paint, put some paint on Duraline and roll it across the surface in order to create brick texture and all sorts of texture. So where I used to import my texture and put it on a separate layer, now I can actually paint the texture and it gets me to the place that I want to be a little bit quicker um, so you can see the texture there I drop the opacity of the texture and then uh, now I'm on a separate layer uh, you can see I generally do my effects on a uh, secondary layer and then and then play with the the layer opacity functions so on this it's on the default so I'm just layering some texture over the painting and then I'm going to hit it with a multiply function layer function and play with a few there's hard light and I usually use overlay hard light soft light or multiply and then I play with the opacity to where I like it and then I uh, flatten the image and so I just keep painting and now I'm into the detail stage I really like a lot of the uh, texture that I've laid, laid in and we've moved forward a little bit on the painting. Now I'm uh, reinforcing some of my shadow sides, playing with the detail of the foam in the water, maybe add you know a lot more of the cool bounce light uh, that we would get in the rock. Uh, and this is where I just really have fun painting. So this is this is that stage in an analog painting where you just kind of slow down a little bit and you just give it character. Uh, all the rocks, uh, the waves, the water. I threw a little tiny little orange Garibaldi fish in there under the water. You can't you can't tell it's a Garibaldi fish, but that's what I was thinking. And so, Corel really allows me to work in a way that I work with traditional media. It was one of the things that I resisted digital media for quite some time because I felt a lot of the paintings looked extremely sterile and so I I just avoided it especially for my professional work it wasn't giving me the effects that I wanted in 2000 I had a studio fire lost 10 years worth of work the industry was moving quickly to digital media I was a bit resistant at the time and then I was introduced to Corel Painter and it I was sold on it right away so you can see I'm just still playing with detail this is the fun stage I like everything about the painting and I just kind of go in and you know this is where you could spend you know another 15 minutes to two hours just having fun so enjoy using Corel Painter those of you that are new and there's the finished version thank you for watching